Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Tuesday. It is November the 24th. Now, after stopping down production for just one day on Cougar Town, Courtney Cox uh, had to take care of a little personal family matter. 24 hours was all she needed. So the show is back up and running after the Thanksgiving holiday because now they're scheduled to be off anyway. Courtney's rep says she and her family are doing just fine. Janet Jackson has moved on from her relationship with Jermaine Dupri in a very big way. She was seen snuggled up in a booth at the Polo Lounge in the Beverly Hills Hotel recently with Colin Farrell, the bad boy Irish actor. New Moon star Ashley Green has a rumored boyfriend. She'll be on the phone with us tomorrow, by the way, 8.40 a.m. Central Time. But she is said to be dating the bassist for Kings of Leon. His name is Jared Falwell. They met backstage at a Kings of Leon concert in August in Vancouver, where she was shooting New Moon at the time. And at the time, Jared happened to be engaged to a model that he dumped so he could pursue Ashley and apparently he caught her because she was recently at Jared's birthday party and the two of them were seen making out hot and heavy. So they are definitely an item. Khloe Kardashian not exactly making friends with the other Lakers wives. She thinks she deserves preferential treatment because look at all the added value she brings and all the publicity she's giving the Lakers just by marrying Lamar Odom. So she showed up with her mom Kris Jenner to the game the other day and was expecting, you know, courtside privileges sitting alongside, you know, the Beckhams and Jack Nicholson and celebrities of her caliber. Instead, she was told that her seats were reserved with the Lakers' wives and their families. Not happy about that. She especially wasn't happy and was very vocal when Kobe Bryant's wife, Vanessa, and their daughters were escorted by security to the restroom and back. They get bombarded by fans for little girls involved. That's understandable. But Chloe was saying, why don't I have bodyguards? I'm more famous than her which isn't only rude, it's also improper English, Chloe. And then finally, Timbaland dropped Chris Brown from his CD. Now, of course, his reps are saying it was because of creative differences, blah, blah, blah. But he was supposed to be on the song, The One I Love. Now, The One I Love is still on the CD. Chris's vocals were removed. DOE, the rapper, is also on that uh, CD. But he says the, you know, the creative differences stuff is just not true. He says, first of all, the title of the song was originally Maniac. And then, you know, other people decided that that wasn't a good title to have associated with Chris Brown. And then when, you know, it push came to shove, they decided just to remove him altogether because of the controversy still surrounding him and the negative feelings around Chris Brown. So I guess we'll just see if, you know, it, it, the numbers are reflected when the C CDs go on sale because Chris Brown and Timbaland CDs both go on sale on December 8th. So that's the rumor behind that. And that is your Showbiz Top 5 for Tuesday.